Hey everyone, it's Warriors NRL Fanatics here. If you are a new viewer to the YouTube channel and you haven't done so already, please make sure you don't forget to click that subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel really shows your support for the content that I do. And it's absolutely free as well and it's much appreciated. And also I'd like to thank those who have recently subscribed to the channel as well. And don't forget to make sure you click the thumbs up button on this video. Click that thumbs up button, click that like button, and click the bell so you are notified when I upload any new content next on the channel. So, boy, State of Origin, it is not far away. And could, can you believe it, man, just last year we talked about Queensland winning the series and New South Wales have now gone in a different direction this, this, this season. We have a new coach and Michael Maguire who's taking over the reins at the Blues. And they are trying to retake the shield from Queensland. And the Maroons themselves, they're trying to defend the shield um, after last season winning it uh, with Billy Slater for the second year in a row. So, yeah, look, we looked at this year so far, the NRL boy, the um, amount of injuries that are really going to affect these um, two sides, especially New South Wales and Queensland. A lot of players will will not be donning the jersey in game one. So, look, I'm going to give it my best crack here. I'm going to give, go through my Queensland Maroons team um, today. And then I'm going to give my New South Wales Blues team as well on the Friday. So you'll see that on the Friday on another video. But my Queensland Maroons team, I am a Queensland Maroons supporter, guys. So if you're wondering who I support, support Queensland. Um, because, well, basically... I. I'm a big Queensland fan, plus I live in Queensland, so it all just makes sense to, you know, support Queensland, of course. So, we'll go through the Maroons side. Um, yeah, look, very tough team to t pick. Um, you know, it, both of these teams are actually tough to pick, really, the series. But this is the team I've gone with. So, look, if you don't agree with the team that I go with, feel free to share your Queensland Maroons 1-17 um, to 17 team for game one in the YouTube comment section down below. But this is just my opinion, guys. So, you know, if you don't agree, then that's fine. But share your team in the comments if you, you disagree. So, um, number one, fullback, we've gone with Reese Walsh. Now, Reese Walsh apparently, you know, is supposed to return this week against the Gold Coast Titans on Sunday afternoon. So, he has been nursing an injury over the past couple of weeks. So... Look, if Reese Walsh isn't fully fit um, on Sunday to take on the Titans, um, that will probably mean he won't play in in Game One of the Origin series. So, um, look, if if that's the case, if he's not fully fit, I'd probably pick Selwyn Cobo at fullback. Come, um, you've also got the likes of your Hammer, so Tibo Fidel's as well, or you can put in a Selwyn Cobo at fullback as well as another option, but. I'll, I'll, I will go with Selwyn Cobo as my second option if Reese Walsh is um, not available. But Reese Walsh would be my first um, pick um, if he's fit. And then on the other wing, I've, I've gone with Xavier Coates. Now, Xavier Coates is also another player that's had injuries this year. But look, when he's been fully fit, when he's on the field for the Storm, he's probably been the best wing in the comp. So... Um, look, Xavier Coates, you can't look past him. Every Origin Series, he's always very reliable. So I'm going to put Xavier Coates here on the wing. Uh, centers now. So I have actually gone with Valentine Holmes. And look, you know, look, Valentine Holmes has not been in, in form at all this season. I think he's been okay, but he hasn't really stood out. Now, Dane Gagai is another option as well you can put in the centers. But, look, I think uh, with Queensland, they're going to stay loyal and they're going to go with Val Holmes. They're going to pick Val Holmes because, obviously, when Val Holmes is in the Maroons side, he always plays well as well. So, you know, I think they'll pick Val Holmes there. And the other centre I've gone with is the Hammer. Hammer, so Thibaut Fidel, who could easily be on the wing. Or you could play him at fullback. But I'm going to go with the Hammer in the centres. Um, he did a good job there last series. And, of course, the other winger, I'm going to go with uh, Murray Talangi. Murray Talangi would be my second option. But if Reese Walsh is fit and available, and if he's the fullback, I will go with Sal and Cobo on the other wing there. So that would be my winger's options. 5-8, uh, um, unfortunately, no Cameron Munster. Big blow for the Queensland Maroons. We saw him come off um, for the storm against the Paramount Eels last week. And, obviously, as a Queensland fan... 
that's really gutting to see because Munster, you know, is a key player for the Maroons. Um, well, every series, you know, M- Munster's been a key ploy to, to winning the series. So it's a big blow for the Maroons, but they've got other options there. They've got Tommy Deard in there. So I'll go with Tommy Deard in at 5'8 f- for me. Um, and I think he'll take that spot. Uh, halfback's pretty obvious. I'm going to go with Cherry Evans, DCE. You've also got the likes of Sam Walker as well waiting in the wings. But Cherry Evans, you can't you can't leave Cherry Evans out of the out of the side. And Cherry Evans always leads the way and always plays well in Origin. So I'll go with Cherry Evans at halfback there. Uh, Ruben Cotter would be my other prop. Ruben Cotter we saw last series was great for the Maroons as well. Um, look, the Cowboys aren't doing too crash hot this year in the NRL. Um, and, you know, obviously there's not many standouts of the Cowboys, but if you're going to pick a Cowboys player, Ruben Cotter has to be in the side. So Ruben Cotter for me, prop. Uh, hooker, this is pretty straightforward and simple. I've gone with Harry Grant here. The best hooker in the comp for me um, in the NRL right now. Uh, Lindsay Collins would be my other prop as well. And my second row, I'm going with David Fafita and Jeremiah Nunai. So I'm sticking with the uh, same... Uh, second row combination from last series. Now, Jeremiah Nanai isn't really having the best of years this season so far, but you've got to get a stick with um, Jeremiah Nanai and David Fafita because I think there aren't really too many options for the Queens and Maroons in that um, in that position, the second row. So I've gone with those two there. Lock is pretty basic, straightforward. Paddy Carrigan for me. Uh, the bench for me will be Ben Hunt. Um, Moadi Furuweka, Jermaine Hopgood, and Corey Horsburgh. So that would be my 17 for the Queensland Maroons there. So, yeah, very really tricky team to pick. You know, there's some players that could easily be in that Maroons team. Um, obviously, you've got some other players that are, are injured and unavailable for selection. Um, the likes of your Cameron Munsters there and that, but... You know, that's the Maroons, probably the best Maroons team that I could come up with for game one of the series. Um, quite a few debatable ones, you know, that quite a few ones that I picked in there stuck with solid uh, that probably could have, you know, not been in the side altogether, but I've, I've sort of stayed loyal to those players. Um, is The big question is, who does Billy Slater pick for, for the um, for game one? Who Who's the team that he is going to go with? Because... He has um, been pretty open about picking players, not just on loyalty. He's been op- pretty open that he, he would pick players based on form this season. So it'll be interesting to see what Billy picks this series. Um, you know, look, last year was was awesome, the Maroons winning that series. And I'm hoping they could do it all again this year. But I think it'll be another competitive series coming up um, in the state of origin this year. But... Guys, let me know what your thoughts are on the Queensland Maroons team that I've gone with. If if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments down below. And what are your Maroon, what is your Maroons team that you are going with? Um, put it down in the YouTube comment section. I would love to see who you have gone with. And um, yeah, don't forget if you are a new viewer to the YouTube channel and you haven't done so already, please make sure you give this video a like, click the thumbs up button, and don't forget to share this video. Share this video around. Uh, make sure you also, if you are a new viewer to the channel, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to give this YouTube channel a subscribe. Subscribing to the channel is much appreciated, and um, it's it's absolutely free as well. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and go the Maroons. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys all for the next video, which will be my New South Wales Blues Origin team for Game One.